Uh oh, here comes Mungo! Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. I am doing this review almost purely for that joke. I hope it was worth it. This is my review for Lake Mungo. This is a movie that keeps on popping up in my feed for reviews on YouTube. I think it's maybe because I reviewed the Poughkeepsie tapes a little while back. It's a docudrama or a mockudrama about a girl who drowned in Australia and it's talking about the family, how they go through the grief, how they start to believe they see a ghost and how it's connected with the death of her daughter. I'll give this film credit. It's not like what you're expecting. It doesn't go in like a paranormal activity sort of way. It doesn't go in the Deborah Lang sort of way. It doesn't go in the Poughkeepsie Files sort of way. It doesn't really dip into anything that you would almost call dramatic. It's a very slow burn. There technically is a woo moment kind of near the end, but otherwise this is a very grounded, docu mocu drama that being said it is very dry the two parents who were interviewed quite heavily in this are very dry or wooden at times when the film starts to kind of go a little bit more interesting with this psychic uh, character that comes in it starts to pick up a little bit but i feel that the heartbeat of this film is nothing more than just above a coma i do give the writer director credit for going a little bit against the norm especially for 2008 because this was just before the whole paranormal activity thing was about to take off but apparently it made absolutely no money the guy has never made anything since really and at the end of the film there is this kind of question of how time works with the main character the main girl and i do like this there is this part of the end that kind of leaves it up for your interpretation and if you want to go down this road and you want to actually check it out and you want to kind of think about it and have a discussion there is apparently quite a bit of a thread about this there's one video i watched which was called the great this horror movie of all time which no it's it's not it's it is not i was trying to watch this but i constantly kept getting distracted by just wanting to look at my phone there's so little happening and it's going across the screen so slowly there are these points where you start seeing different things in these photographs which really really cool but then at the end of the movie they start showing the photographs again and they show that there's different things in these photos how the hell did no one picks this up in a year does no one ever play those i spy book games my brother had a bunch of these i spy books when we were kids and we would always bring them with us to the restaurants or to family outings because we knew we would get bored but we'd always be really interested in these books the idea that people can't see these obvious little things in these photographs for over over a year or not at all it's just kind of silly i would definitely suggest you try and find the highest quality version of it because the one on youtube is horrible it's like watching a movie on 24p almost the entire time and that might have been a reason why i didn't enjoy it as much because i was looking at a pixelated trash can i would say the poughkeepsie tapes are much more entertaining than this movie obviously a lot more graphic and a lot more disturbing at least it's holding your hand in terms of keeping you interested it's not dead limp on the ground kind of being like hey look at me uh, look at me. Hey, look at this photograph. Uh. So in the end, I'm going to give Lake Mungo a 2 out of 7. It has a cool idea, but I will never watch this again, and I'm probably going to forget about it. Anyways, guys, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.